गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द डेली ग्रुप डिस्कशन टॉपिक अपडेट्स एंड यू नो जी डी इज अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग एज आई ऑलवेज सेम एवरी माई वीडियो इज अ सिंपल थिंग यू नीड टू ब्रिंग दैट इन योर माइंड बट ओनली थिंग इज यू आर टू प्रैक्टिस रेगुलरली एंड योर पीडिया गिव्स यू अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू दैट सो ऑल ओवर इंडिया से स्टूडेंट्स हुआ इन कॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स हुआ स्टारिंग टू बीन मैनेजमेंट कोर्सेज दो वॉन्ट डेवलपमेंट दे आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग एवरी डे विद अस ऑन ग्रुप डिस्कशन practice will make you perfect yes there are certain traits trick tricks actually uh, in participation of the group discussion so every day you just listen to some topics which i uh, discuss with you just uh, see the perspective how the how the approach should be and by listening to that i think you will tune yourself for this particular domain now uh, the topic today i am going to discuss is india 2050 india in 2050 you know so what we have to talk about this so starting has to be like this uh, good morning friends my name is vijender singh and i introduce you to the topic given to us for the discussion which is india in 2050 it is very futuristic topic friends and uh, i am very sure all of us will have imagination and uh, their own positive speculations about this everyone will be in position to their give their contribution to this topic uh, because of the general nature of this topic and uh, uh, now before i in open the house for the discussion where you start giving your inputs i will give my perspective to this topic in which i think discussion can be done so friends in 2050 uh, india will be having certain achievements which we can think of so what will be the achievement of our great nation in 2050 and what will be the uh, our challenges at that time we can discuss that what will be the challenges uh for india as a great nation that time and what will be the achievement certain things are very sure what we are going to do what we are going to get india will be the most populous nation india will be the most populous population will be the highest population nation in the world and second the largest democracy which we are today itself so largest democracy and most populous nation these two things are the basically initiating points which india will be now now i open the house for the discussion friends and i am very sure you have relevant points to give here so that we discuss entirely on these two pretext uh, in these two directions the moment you open the house then if you have given good direction to the discussion believe me other members are going to follow the direction which you gave and you automatically become the leader of the discussion so you said that uh, let's discuss it in achievement and challenges what should be the achievements should be i'm saying because it's a futuristic you no know, you are speculating what will be in 2050 so we will be the largest economy largest economy of the world we should be the largest economy of the world as of now we are at the fourth position behind countries like us and china but by that time we want we should exceed them but how that is possible you know we will be having largest we will be having largest skilled workforce workforce so why we are better than china or america as of now america is a stagnant economy and india is a developing economy india is having the workforce which is young india is the youngest nation so next 25 years next 25 years it is going to be the young nation you know what is the meaning of young nation here i mean people who are in that productive age group where they can work 30% of our population is less than 15 years as of now so next 25 years they will be the working you know so next 50% of our population which will be the huge actually combined europe and america will be the uh, basically workforce but that workforce should be skilled workforce english speaking skilled workforce china has its own problems china is having its own problems with the world at uh, at large india is not having india is a democratic nation largest democratic nations the accepted form of government entire globe so that is our strength next we have uh, need to have developed science developed science and technology domain space program nuclear program defense program which already is very good isro has a name drdo has a name BRC has a name so our space nuclear defense program should be even far developed that should serve our strategic interest you know uh, this uh, domains should serve us there 
साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी में वी शुड बी डिवेस्ट इस यू शुड अगर डिफेंस सिस्टम डिवेल्प डिफेंस सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया शुड बी वेरी डिवेल्प सो इंडिया के डिफेंस सिस्टम शुड बी हाईली डिवेल्प एंड व्हाट शुड बी द टारगेट्स नो अचीवमेंट्स व्हाट वी शुड हैव एंड व्हाट आर द टारगेट्स वी शुड कीप वी शुड कीप टारगेट दैट बिकम द लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी टेक्नोलॉजी सुपर पावर वी बिकम वी शुड बिकम द परमानेंट मेंबर ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन यस वी शुड बिकम द परमानेंट मेंबर ऑफ United Nations Security Council. There are five members as of now. India is not. So India should become permanent member of United Nations Security Council and hence the uh, nuclear state also. As of now, India is not accepted as the nuclear power. India is accepted as a state having advanced nuclear technology. But India should be accepted as a, a nuclear state by that time. So permanent member of United Nations, hundred percent literacy, and that should be functional literacy. We should. Uh, promise ourselves 100% literacy uh, and functional literacy. So, what are the challenges now? The growth, whatever India wants, that growth should be sustainable growth. That means not at the cost of environment. We are the developing nation, and at the same time, we have challenge to develop us also, and basically to develop the people also, and to take care of the environment also. We cannot afford to develop at the cost of environment. So, sustainable and development. is the requirement yes communal harmony has to be there communal harmony will be the another challenge you know what is the communal harmony community clashes should not be there it is a india is a diverse country different languages different culture different religion different region that is our strength but sometime it can become our weakness also so india should have growth which is sustainable not at the cost of environment at the same time communal harmony should be there Employment, quality of life, human development index should be improved very fast, and you know, uh, in 2050, India will be old nation. So what we have strength today, so 30 years down the line, if India is young today, 30 years down the line they will be old. So we need to take care of that also. So what we need to eradicate by that time, what we should remove them by that time, we should eradicate the poverty, we should eradicate the hunger. we should eradicate the unemployment we should eradicate the pollution so when we uh, visualize ourselves in 2050 we should be the super power with very good quality of life for people total harmony in the society no clashes no community clashes stable government and we should be asset for the globe that is what we envisage for us in 2050 so at, at this positive end you can end your discussion thank you